the working hours and output method of depreciation are depreciation methods that are very similar to the straight line method of depreciation. So the only difference here is your D here refers for the working hours, your D refers for the depreciation per hour well for the output method your d refers for the depreciation per unit so this is concerned so the first one concerned with the number of operating hours and the second one the output method is concerned with the unit produced or the output being produced by a working equipment so here your both your n and m is concerned with the number of hours while here your n and m concerns the number of units produced so as I said a while ago it is very similar to the straight line method of depreciation meaning to say everything is almost the same so it follows the same graph and the same formulas so the only exception is your D and your N and M so to further understand this let us solve a sample problem so an equipment cost 480,000 pesos and has a salvage value of 10% of its cost at the end of its economic life of 36,000 operating hours in a period of 5 years in the first year of service it was used for 12,000 hours if at the second year it was used for 15,000 hours find the depreciation at the second year so here so we have here an equipment so let us determine first the given so the first cost of the equipment is 480,000 pesos salvage value is 10% of the first cost so this equal to 48,000 pesos now its economic life is 36,000 operating hours or in a period of 5 years so here we are concerned with n as the total number of operating hours in the first year of service it was used for 12,000 hours so our m1 for the first year it was used for 12,000 hours while for the second year it was used for 15,000 hours now find the depreciation at the second year so here in this problem we are required to solve for D2 so in order to solve for D2 let's solve for the depreciation per hour so depreciation per hour or D is equal to FC minus SV over N 
So that is equal to 480,000 minus 48,000 divided by 36,000. And that is equal to 480,000 minus 48,000 over 36,000. 12 pesos. So here, your the, the amount of depreciation per hour is 12 pesos. So in order to solve for D2, let us multiply D by M2. So that is equal to 12 times 15,000. And that is equal to 180,000 pesos and this gives the depreciation at the second year only and that answers the sample problem